In this video, we're going to talk about Venn diagrams. We're briefly going to talk about what Venn diagrams are and then how we can use them to help us find probabilities. A Venn diagram is a visual representation of two or more groups and where they overlap. A couple of vocabulary words. A set is a collection of things. You write sets inside curly brackets like this, hat, shirt, jacket, pants. Each item is an element or member of the set. The union is the set that comprises all the elements and no others contained in any of the two or more given sets. And it has that special U, looks a little funny as far as U's go, but that's the symbol for union of two sets. So the union of soccer and tennis is all of the elements that are in soccer and all of the elements that are in tennis. So we have Alex and Casey and Drew and Hunter all play to soccer and then Jade plays tennis and David doesn't play either one of those and you can see Case, Casey and Drew pay, play both soccer and tennis. Which brings us to the idea of an intersection. That's the set that comprises all the elements common to both sets and it has the special symbol that kind of look like looks like an upside down U. So the intersection of soccer and tennis is Casey and Drew because those two people play both soccer and tennis and you can see that from the overlap of these two circles. This whole circle is soccer and this whole circle is tennis. Now, we can use Venn diagrams to help us figure out probabilities. 22 students were surveyed for their favorite sport. Nine like basketball, 12 like baseball, six don't like either sport, and some like both. What's the probability that a student likes basketball and baseball? Well, it doesn't straight out tell us that information. It just says some like both. But we can actually figure it out. It's easiest to start with who does not like either sport. And that's six, don't like either sport. So there's six out here. Let's call this basketball. And let's call this baseball. So there were six who do not like other, any other sport and there are, or do not like either sport. And there are 22 students that are surveyed. So how many students do we have left over? So two, 22 minus six is 16. Now we can see here that nine like basketball and 12 like baseball. So if I add that together, that's actually 21. So there must be some overlap of students that were counted in both categories. There are some students that like basketball and baseball, and so they were counted twice. So you might say, well, it looks like there's five. So let's put five here and see if that works out. So if there are five here, then in the whole circle, there's supposed to be 12 that like baseball. So 12 minus five is seven. So that would be seven in the baseball. And then there are nine that like basketball. So that means there has to be four here because four plus five would be nine. And if we add that all up, does that give us the right number? Let's check this out. Four plus five is nine plus seven is 16. So there's 16 here plus six who don't like anything. That's the 22 that were surveyed. Okay, so we're good there. Do we have 12 that like baseball? Yes. Do we have nine that like basketball? Yes. Do we have six that do not like either sport? Yes. So what's the probability that a student likes basketball and baseball? Well, the favorable outcome, there are five here out of the total number of students surveyed, which is 22. So the probability is five out of 22. 